Hey guys, what's up? I'm Hugo from Tech Corner TV and I was preparing my next video answering uh, viewer questions and also uh, new tests to see if the last, last upgrade uh, solves some issues of the oscilloscope that I show in the previous two reviews I have done on this oscilloscope and I found out another huge uh, and uh, awesome by the negative of course uh, bug so do you want to find out how to freeze this oscilloscope under 10 seconds join me okay let's do it okay i'm getting better it took only about three seconds to freeze this oscilloscope right now you cannot do anything yeah it's completely froze you can't do anything so join me and let's see what's going on with this uh, device. Okay, first of all, uh, let me just uh, turn the or power the oscilloscope off and let's power it on again to unlock. In these uh, tests, I'm using my Rigol 300 megahertz probes. Those are very good probes connected to my XDG2100 uh, arbitrary waveform generator. We have here right now the oscilloscope and I can freeze this in a few seconds uh, considering some, uh, I would say, uh, conditions. Well, first of all, as you can see, I'm using here a 100 megahertz signal. Uh, on a sine wave with a peak to peak of 2.5 volts that's the maximum amplitude of my function generator for 100 megahertz uh, signal well the signal it's not bad at all to to be 100 megahertz it's not perfect but we can even uh, let me show you increase the max depth and if we do that it tend to be better also we can do some average and yeah it the, the line will be a little more better but uh, the thing is if over uh, one megahertz if you use the offset like this it froze. You just need to change the offset and the oscilloscope froze, uh, freeze in this case. Let me power it off again. Let's power it on again. And let's try to see if I can show you what is going on. In terms of, uh, let me see if I can show you uh, utility it's not responding yet okay the system info uh, I have the version of 18 uh, January 18 of 2022 this is the version of the beginning of the year I believe the in f March uh, they released a new version I, I did not in, uh, install yet. I will install for the video before doing the, the new tests. But even so, this is uh, the, the firmware from this year, 2022. I installed this firmware before, uh, while recording the video, how to upgrade your firmware on the Hantec ESO 2000. Yeah, it's not something really dramatic. And the conditions to, f to, to freeze this oscilloscope, let's do it again. Right now I'm going to move the vertical position down. And yeah, it froze again. So why is this happening? For, ev for what I was able to, to understand, this happens when you are using signals above uh, 1 megahertz. I tried with different bandwidths. Let me change this to 50, uh, not volts. Let me cancel. I want frequency and 50 
megahertz. I, I don't know if you can see in there. Let me try to focus. Yeah, I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, right now we are using 50 megahertz signal. And let's see what happens. I, I'm gonna do an auto set. 10 nanoseconds, 1 giga sample per second, and 4K uh, 4 points. Let's do into a vertical align, a uh, vertical offset move. Okay, and it froze 50 megahertz. Okay, so let's go directly while this reboots. I'm going to try to focus in here. Let's do something like 100 kilohertz. It's a pretty low frequency. I'm going to do an auto set. Let me focus here. Auto set. Yeah. Right now we have a sine wave with 100 uh, megahertz. Let's see the measures. Yeah, 100 megahertz. Uh, we have a uh, where it is, where it is a peak to peak of 5 volts. I don't know why, but it should be 2.5. But anyway, if we take this out and move the offset, yeah, it's working. Without any problem, we can move the offset of the signal without any problem. Okay. Yeah, up and down. Let's center again. Center the trigger. And it works okay. No problem at all. I'm going to move my bandwidth to 1 megahertz. Okay. Right now we are using 1 megahertz. Let's see here on the measures. 1 megahertz, peak to peak, 5 volts of more or less. And let's take this out and this also. And auto set. Okay, so we have 500 nan nanoseconds and let's one giga sample and let's move this on and when it reach the top it normally freeze and it is already froze. Yeah, it's not moving anymore. We cannot do anything else in here. Let me show you. Yeah. Yeah, nothing more than can be done. This is a, a weird problem. Over one megahertz, uh, it starts freezing the oscilloscope. And I really don't understand why. Uh, it's, it's not normal, to be honest. So, yeah, that's it. Let me just try something like 750 kHz under under 1 megahertz and let's see what happens when i move to the top yeah it works if it is below 1 megahertz it works okay Let's trigger again this. Let's try try something like 950 kilohertz. Let's move the offset again. And yeah, this is, uh, okay, it froze. So every time we reach a bandwidth near the one megahertz, it will freeze. Yeah. Hi, uh, hi. I, I, Okay, uh, as I said, I was preparing my vi new video answer questions about this oscilloscope from viewers and also redoing the tests with low voltage to see if still have the problems that uh, I detected on the reviews I've done before 
on the oscilloscope showdown and the review of the DSO 2000. If you haven't uh, seen before, try to watch it. And yeah, I will update the firmware and I hope that it will solve this weird problem. Okay, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this small video. If you did, don't forget to give a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do, don't forget to hit that bell so you can activate all notifications and be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Cheers.